Hello beautiful and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you how I did my very own nails. The first step is of course to remove any shine off the natural nail and for that I do like to use my drill however uh, the bit that I'm using is not too harsh and I just want to remove that shine off the nail. Right after that I will be using these nail tips. Uh, they are from Kiss. I got them at the Dollar Tree. I, I wanted to try them out so let's see how they hold up and uh, of course after you are done sizing your nails then you can move on to gluing them now it is very important not to put too much glue on the nail a little bit goes a long ways and uh, this kd i believe is kdn I'll put it in the description box. Uh, it's it's a really it's a very good glue, so you don't need to put a lot. Right after that, we are going to cut down the nails. Now I do like to leave them just a little bit uh, longer than I want them to because I have made the mistake of cutting them too short, and once you go short, you can't go back. So. Now for the shape of the nail, I will be um, shaping them the ballerina shape and for that I just cut the edges of the nails like so. Then right after that I follow up with a nail file and I make sure that, uh, that once again that I get the shape that I want before I begin to put the acrylic on the nails and uh, this is going to save me more time so it is very important to just get the shape that you want before the acrylic. Moving on to taking off the shine fake nails, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same bit that I use for the natural nail and I'm just gonna file them down just a bit. Then I will push back my cuticles. You can cut them if you want, I just don't like to cut them out, I just like to push them back. And um, don't forget to use your primer the primer, I do apply it on the natural nail only. Following up with, of course, the acrylic, you use a monomer and um, I will be using a clear acrylic powder. And um, again, I use the same procedure as always. I use small bits and I place it right in the center of the nail and then I start building my nail up. Now one trick that I like using when doing my own nails is to put something underneath my finger and uh, that's going to give me more support just to, um, you know, just to make sure that I can get to the nail correctly um, and, you know, just take your time. I do take quite a bit of time with my own nails because I'm extremely picky, but um Honestly, I do like the way they turn out. And here I just take small beads and I'm just, um, you know, making sure that I get the thickness that I want. And also another tip that I can give you is not to touch the cuticle because that will prevent lifting. So five hours later, I'm just kidding, <laughs> no, after I'm done filling in all my nails, then I go ahead and once again, make sure to shape them the way I want to. Uh, and this is the time that if you made a mistake, maybe if the acrylic kind of uh, went under your nail, this is the time to fix it. And um, I also will be filing down the nail with a ceramic bid and um, this bid it's supposed to prevent the heat, the heat going to your nail or whatnot. And I really do like this bead because uh, it is rough and it gets the job done faster. Once I'm done doing that to all my nails, then I move on to the nail filer once again. And I'm here I'm using a rougher one and I'm just making sure that the shape of the nail is as I want it to. 
Then with a nail block, I just follow the steps that it says on the block. Um, one of the sides is to smooth your nail and uh, the other one is to give it shine. So I just go ahead and follow uh, my nail block and this is what I have so far. Now for my favorite part. Finally, I get to decorate my nails. I will be using uh, gel polish today and uh, most of the products are from Gelish. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying the foundation and uh, I do cure it for five seconds and then I do apply the actual um, the gelish top coat and I do cure it for about 10 seconds and then after that I move on to the colors that I want to use and uh, in this case it's going to be white. I do cure it for about 30 seconds. You don't have to cure it for that long. I just do it just to be safe, I guess. 30 seconds is really not a long time. So I will be needing several coats of this white uh, coat just to make sure that I get that uh, white tone that I want. And then I will be using uh, this nail art from Dollar Tree and I'm just drawing out some lines. And then with a brush, I dip it in acetone and I just smudge it like so. And it's gonna give me that illusion of a marble type of design. And I will not be doing that design on, on all my nails, just uh, on a couple. And again, uh, you can go back and draw out more lines and until you are pleased with the results. Once I'm done creating the marble effect, then I will be using a matte top coat for the ring finger and for the rest of the nails I will be using just a regular uh, top coat and I applied some rhinestones and this is the final result. They are absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. Anyway, like always, I will see you on my next video and don't forget to subscribe. Hasta la vista. Adios.